your ego and nerves the same thing? Yes, it's the same thing. Uh, nerves has more understanding of that, more meanings to that. Ego, we're just using English, is not a spiritual language, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Why I'm looking at him? Because I don't know. <laughs> Abdul Hamid is blocked. He speaks German anyway. <laughs> uh, but we are stuck with this, so now we use. Uh, so many people now are going to get very upset with me. So how can you say that? We say, because the language still hasn't become Muslim. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Isn't it? It's true. What? Ego is Latin. And it has now the meanings they change. It's not specific, especially since, what is his name? Fried rice? Ah, Freud. Fried. Fred. <laughs> yeah. He's putting so many meanings in that. Ego, eat, bairam, <laughs> so many things they're putting in there that people get confused. No, 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 it's not ego, it's eat, it's this, it's alter ego, alternate ego, this, that. So all mixed up. You know, same way the word love, ashk. Ashk is different. Love is different. Ashk is love, but it's passion. The word love in English, you say, I love God, I love French fries. I love pizza. Yeah, same, love. But in more spiritual languages, say Arabic or Farsi or Ottoman Turkish uh, or other Eastern languages, you can never say, I have ashk to French fries. Never. You cannot even use that. But English you may use. So, we are saying, using those words, the ego for the nafs, just so that people will understand. But there's more to that, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.